Blue Iguana Recovery Program is a population recovery program of the endemic Grand Cayman Blue Iguana. It's only found in its natural habitat here on the island of Grand Cayman. We informally started in 1990 with just a handful of breeding aged adults. Uh, we formalized our program a few years later with international conservation partners and the uh, National Trust for the Cayman Islands. Just as recently as 2002, there was less than 10 Grand Cayman Blue Iguanas left in the wild population. At that point, they were classified as functionally extinct in the wild. Through our head starting of the animals to a safe age, captive breeding of genetically diverse adults, uh, over the years we've raised that number of wild populations to over 650. Just over 650 animals in the wild gets us to be about two-thirds of the way to our goal of having at least 1,000 animals in the wild on at least three different pieces of property. Right now we have the Botanic Park as one of our release areas, uh, an area called the Salina Reserve, and another area called the Collier's Wildlife Reserve. All have sustainable populations breeding out there in the wild right now. Oh, our ultimate goal of having 1,000 animals is, is we're starting to see that goal. There's light at the end of the tunnel for us. Uh, we won't consider ourselves successful until we get that goal reached, but right now where we are, like I said, seeing light at the end of the tunnel, uh, we can start being more specific about the genetics that we're breeding into the program and being a little more selective about who breeds with who, not just for the sake of getting the numbers of blue iguanas out, but now we want to really get meticulous about the genetic diversity that we have out there. When we do reach our goal of 1,000 animals and we wind down the captive breeding and head starting of the animals, we will switch to more of a population monitoring program. Ideally, we can move our operations to the Collier's Wildlife Reserve where we will have a, an established ecotourism destination for the island of Grand Cayman. When I started with the program as a volunteer just over six years ago, I saw it not just as a population recovery program, but what one of their goals is, is to treat the animal as what we call a flagship species approach to conservation. By using the glamorous animal, we can save the less than glamorous plant life and rocks and other wildlife that people don't really think much about. So again, by using the glamour of an animal, we can save the less than glamorous uh, rest of the environment. So it's considered a flagship species way of doing it. Not only do we deal primarily with the Grand Cayman Blue Iguana, but you may hear in the background occasionally today some parrots going off. We have lots of the endemic Grand Cayman parrot. Uh, we have nesting and breeding boxes here in the facility. Uh, a lot of the plant life that the blue iguana needs to live and eat, we try to propagate as much of that endemic plant life as well. So again, it's a, an encompassing effort to to preserve the wildlife of the island. When we formalized the program a few years back, we decided to uh, partner with the Botanic Park here. We have our captive breeding facility here, and our initial released animals were here in the Botanic Park. We saw it as a bit of a control area. We had access to the interior of the woods through the Woodland Trail. We had our facility very close to where we are releasing the animals. So it was almost kind of a no-brainer to, to partner up with the Botanic Park because it was a little easier for us to do it that way. Uh, we get funding, being a uh, program of the National Trust, we do get funding from the National Trust. Uh, we also have local corporate sponsors and we do uh, a program where you can sponsor animals individually, name the animals individually, and that can all be found on our webpage, www.blueiguana.ky. We also have a Facebook fan page. We update that on a regular basis. Uh, Anybody who's interested, we do do a tour for the general public uh, Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. You can just come to the Botanic Parks Visitor Center, buy your tickets prior to 11 a.m. any day but Sunday, and enjoy a nice behind-the-scenes tour of a successful benchmark conservation program at work.